This is an update to my uh, work in the Teo ECU that I showed some time ago. So um, basically, the question is about unintended acceleration on these devices and being able to show that you can you can force the throttle to go uh, full open. Um, so what I have here is just a emulation setup for the real ECU, no uh, modifications to it, um, and then some of the support equipment. The interesting thing is the throttle body here. So when I turn power on. Um, if it's operating normally, we can see the, the throttle position. So this would be your gas pedal here. Um, as I move this, you can see the throttle in the background open. Um, and so you can see it open, you know, basically full throttle, close, um, and things like that. So um, this is the normal setup. If I insert, and what I'd found before is if I insert an electromagnetic fault, so I insert a fault into the ECU, here I'm using um, my even lower cost Pico EMP this time. And I'm just gonna insert um, a fault. Uh, the device operation, the, the operation of this becomes very erratic. So you can probably hear it um, is making a lot more noise now. If you look at the waveform, it looks uh, very weird. And, and also the current consumption goes up dramatically. Now, what I had not fully figured out before, a bit because of the limitations of the power supply, is it's actually voltage dips that eventually cause it to jam, which you can imagine if you had a corroded um, connector on your ECU, you might see this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a, and actually there's already one here, about a 5 amp current limit. Um, and then I'm just going to play with this. So you'll see I'm not going to jam the throttle all the way down. I'm just doing small, you know, variations, like if you were maybe accelerating a little bit here and there, I'm never going to a wide open throttle. Um, so I'll keep that visible the whole time. And then at some point we'll, we may see the system crash. And um, when that happens, the, the throttle can actually jam up. So I'll play with the current setting a bit, a little lower. And if you go too low, it'll just um, fall out. So, yeah, I'm trying to keep it to be very small. So a little lower. So I have about a 4.7 current amp. So as it exceeds the current, it's, the voltage is dropping down. Again, I'm trying to sort of simulate what would happen with a, a poor connection. So there you go. So now you can see um, the throttle has jammed wide open. So the really interesting thing, right, is that A, no matter the throttle's now at zero, no matter what I do to the throttle position sensor, um, it's not doing anything. I have some little lights that are on the, uh, the indicator, the ignition coils, and we can, it may be hard to see them here. Um, they're basically still blinking, so I have a controller that simulates the, uh, the engine sensor, so we can see they kind of they they change as they change with the, the red RPM, um, and I can also show that because I have this OBD2 reader here. So if we go into that, it'll take a second. Um, so again, the the whole time the throttle position is just jammed wide open. You can see. The. Uh, and we can see the data stream. So what I'm going to show you is that this this data stream is actually going to be updating. So the system seems to be closing some of the uh, the control loops with the engine. And my lights, I have a, a loose ground connection on my LEDs here. So sorry, they drop out. Um, but if, for example, the load percentage, if I adjust, I have a, just a fake mass airflow sensor. Um, if we adjust that, you can see that's changing, right? If I adjust my RPM sensor, here, you'll see that changing as well. Um, so you can see that indeed the ECU is working and this is still sitting here wide open. Um, so I'm just gonna increase the current limit a bit so that we get back to regular voltages. And sometimes it would fall back to normal operation, but now I've just gone to full. Um, so there, there's no limit, this is a 10 amp power supply, so um, it is, fully powering it, and again, it's just sitting here. Uh, it's trying about six amps, so 80 watts, and this, again, the ECU is fully working. You can see this is wide open here. Um, and this is after inserting the fault, so it's sort of a two-stage thing. Some sort of corruption happens.
from inserting um, the fault with the EMFI, and then it becomes highly vulnerable to the state where uh, it will go completely to wide open. If you look back, you'll see I wasn't, you know, if you look at this, wide open is all the way here. Oh, there we go, so it came back alive after I put the, that all the way down. Um, so you can see it, it seems to be able to recover, uh, but it is quite an interesting phenomenon. So the next step is to try to recreate this on an in-car test to confirm if the injectors are working or not.